Hey there, so in my last video I was talking about cardio versus weight training, how you can actually make it work for you, and in this one here I'm going to relate that <clears throat> to portion sizes. So we were talking about macronutrients, we were talking about you know how much fat, how much protein, how much how, how many carbohydrates you should be having, and that's massively down to the individual and what your goals are. Okay, if you're doing lots of running or if you're doing loads of cardio, your carbohydrates are going to need to be higher, and if we if you want to get leaner and and, um, uh, a lot more svelte, a lot, a lot, um, a lot more ripped or, or toned, so to speak. Then you're going to need to bring those carbohydrates down and perhaps increase your fats and your protein. Once you've got that formula right, one of the things you always also want to consider in that process is portion sizes, which is so so important. Now, when it comes to your macronutrients, personally, I've I've done macro counting before. And it works, but it's also very difficult as a lifestyle, I find, and a lot of my clients find it very difficult to stick to, especially if you're out at a restaurant or you're staying at someone's house or you've got a job where you're on the road. So how do you tell how much to have of each thing? Now, a really, really great guideline, which I used when I did my own personal transformation in 2004, is literally used my hand and to, to, as a means of being able to tell how much food I should be eating or how much I should, shouldn't be having. <laughs> so if you're looking at your proteins, now your proteins, if you're a meat eater, will be things like uh, beef, chicken, um, anything to do with, um, like it's say, you know, an animal type of meat. Then you've got your fish proteins, white fish, oily fish, um, you've got your vegetarian proteins, you've got soya, um, egg whites, um, and then you know, going into a vegan side, it gets a little bit more complicated where you're looking at, uh, say, a vegan alternative for an egg, you're looking at tempeh, you're looking at tofu, you're looking at edamame, that sort of thing. Anyway, in terms of a protein, per meal, you should be having a look at about having about the size and thickness of your palm, okay? Now, if you were eating three small meals a day, it doesn't sound like much. So this would be based upon having three meals a day and one to two snacks. So all of those meals, if you're trying to get lean and toned, you should be only having about the size and thickness of your palm of protein. So if you're at a restaurant, you're at someone's house, you know that that's the size, say, fish, um, or egg whites or whatever you should be having okay now I've got really tiny hands that means I don't get to eat really huge amounts of food which is crap but never mind you go by your palm and the size of your hand now that wouldn't include the fingers literally just the actual palm itself in terms of carbohydrates carbohydrates can be rice it can be um, pasta, it can be um, rolled oats or, or gluten-free oats, it could be oat bran, fruit, please remember that fruit is a carbohydrate. Um, I'm talking about more simple things here like baked potatoes, sweet potatoes, um, even things like quinoa. Now quinoa is a protein and a carbohydrate, so it gets a little bit more complex here. Make sure you're talking about foods that are predominantly a carbohydrate because there are a lot of foods that contain both protein and carbohydrates. So don't get too mixed up with that. Now, with your uh, carbohydrate portion, that is about how much you should be having. Okay, so a clenched fist would be the amount of carbohydrates that you can have per meal or per snack. All right, so it makes it so much easier. If you look at, like, say, a little bit of uh, rice or pasta on a plate, you put your fist next to it. Bob's your uncle, that's how much you should be having. No more, no less, all right? Now, in terms of vegetables, yes, vegetables also are a carbohydrate, but most of, of like your, your green vegetables, leafy vegetables, uh, green beans, broccoli, asparagus, spinach, all those sorts of things are so much lower in calories. They've got a different glycemic index. They affect your insulin very, very differently. So you wouldn't be worrying, worried too much about those. If it's just straight vegetables, just you know, have two to three servings a day of either raw or steamed vegetables, all right? So I wouldn't count that too much as your carbohydrates. If you're trying to lose fat, however, one thing that's always worked for my clients and worked for myself is you cut out the starchy carbohydrates of your last meal of the day, um, which would be like your rice, potatoes, um, corn, all that sort of thing. 
and you would actually have that at just like say your breakfast and your lunch and one of your snacks. Things like rice cakes, um, great things to snack on, really, really low in calories and they also uh, don't take your carbohydrate allowance up too high. But instead, make sure you have masses of vegetables. You know, cabbage, um, peppers, mushrooms, whatever you enjoy, you know, just think of a whole rainbow color of, of vegetables and that's gonna be the best way to fill you up without making you feel like you missed out if you haven't had carbohydrates at night. In terms of your, your good fats, you're looking at things like avocados, nuts, seeds, oils, like some of your best oils, you're looking at olive oil, coconut oil, um, anything that's going to uh, not change in its composition when you're heating it at a very, very high temperature. Um, and your good fats, you wanna be having to, between one and two servings a day. Now a serving I would describe as a teaspoon of oil or a quarter of an avocado, all right? Now if you find that you've got quite bad joints or you need to eat a lot more omegas, you might actually swap a lot of your fats for seeds such as sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, or you might even have some oily fish. So you've got options there whether you're a vegetarian or whether you are a fish eater. In terms of portion sizes, use your hand. It's just literally a fist for carbs. Palm size and thickness of protein have say between um, three and five proteins a day. Two, you know, this is pretty much the same with your carbohydrates and a couple of servings of fats and you're good to go.